Looks like a disappearing South series to me, y'all. Bluffington, whatever. <laughs> We're in Bluffton. Bluffington. Look at that roof up there. Yeah. Oh, man. Those overlapping. Yeah. Beautiful. I think I'm just going to leave this camera on. We're just going to kind of ride through Bluffton because I don't think there's much here to see. But y'all in Bluffton, if you watch, please don't get upset with me. I ain't been through yet, so I don't know. Could be wrong. We'll find out. We're going to turn around up here. I just thought I saw something up here, but I don't think I see anything yet. Oh, I think I see um, houses. <laughs> that's a cemetery up here. I think that's a cemetery on the left. Don't you think so? It is a cemetery. Right I now. think that's Did what I? we're seeing. Other than that, this is farmland and houses. I want you to tell them before you bury anybody. That's completely and totally rational. I'm going to turn around up here and you can... So I can get it out my window? Yeah. Yeah. See, I know where he's going with that. There's a dozier. I had a dentist once whose name was Dozier. Dr. Dozier. She was a little bitty woman. She had a hard time pulling one of my wisdom teeth. There's one of them big old monsters. Looks like a dinosaur. You know, the irrigation systems out here? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta love that tree right there. That tree trunk. That's all it is, is a trunk. Look, y'all, if you look all the way in, you see it. Oh, wow. Factory over there. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Factory of some sort over there. We're over here on this side with the cemetery now. There's some old graves out there. And there's a water tower right there. I, I will, but Bluffton's written on that side. Just pull back right. I don't, I'm trying to stay out of the wind. I'm trying to obey all the rules and stay out of the wind. Yeah. All right, well, we're headed back this way now. And uh, I think we're going to go down here and turn right. I think there's a little piece to Bluffton. I don't really know what, what's in Bluffton. <laughs> a cat. There's a cat. There's one of them dinosaurs taken apart. I ain't never seen one broke down like that. But you know, it makes sense. It's how they, you know, what do I think they bring them out here in that one big long piece. You know, it's funny, we don't think sometimes about how things are done. Ooh, that house looks a lot more disappearing on his side. This is not the road we're gonna turn on. There's a, there's a little, there's a cat in the road right here beside me. I see it. Okay, as long as you see it, I'm okay. That's Tom. Black with a white chest. Yeah. I see a person out in the field. Walking, no, watering the garden. I hadn't started my garden yet. No, he ain't watering. He's just down there looking. He's probably planning. That's about the stage I'm in right now. I'm planning. What am I going to put in the buckets? That's a beautiful house that just keeps on going at the back. It just keeps on going and going. Porch there, too. There's a speed bump ahead, y'all. They need to slow us down. I bet there's somebody they need to slow down at some point. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a speed bump ahead. Oh! Good gracious alive. Y'all notice speed bumps are getting worse and worse? That is the Bluffton Farm Center. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, I like that. We headed up to the church. But you know, wow. It's like there's a sign on the side of this house right here. Oh, this is White Oak Pastures. Y'all, this is a huge farm, White Oak Pastures. Look at that little house. Well, this is the courthouse. 
Oh, yeah, this was the courthouse. I love that. Now, this is a church with a historic marker in front of it. This is the Lord's Acre. Y'all, I've heard of this place. I gotta get out. I gotta go read it. Y'all gotta hear about this. Well, just know I've got another uh, place for you to go you're gonna love. I see it. <laughs> is that it right there? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Let me go read this. Cause y'all, I've read about the Lord's Acre before. In 1922, Reverend H.M. Melton of Bluffton Baptist Church challenged his congregation to set aside one acre of farmland and donate the proceeds from crops raised there to the Cash Poor Rural Church. Seven farmers agreed. The Lord's Acre not only thrived, but seemed impervious to the boll weevil that plagued the community in 1923. Encouraged by a Time Magazine article in 1924 and later by the Lord's Acre Plan of the Farmers Federation of North Carolina, the movement spread, becoming an international and interdenominational phenomenon that continues to provide funding for churches to the present day. The movement has grown beyond farmland to include projects of donated time and service and to auctions and sales featuring homemade goods, arts, and crafts. Man, y'all, that's cool. And this is Bluffton Baptist Church. Well, all right then. And there's that courthouse from his side over here. Huh. Cool. Very cool. All right. So this is the event center here in Bluffton with their bail. I don't know if that was a church or a school. Sure. I see it. Y'all, I see what he's talking about. Yeah. Look at this. We're just gonna ride up. We're just gonna come right by this. It's fenced off. The barns back there. There are two barns back there, actually. Both of them coming down. Look at this beauty right here. Yes, yes. Pull up right here and I'll do a... There's stuff inside there, but I can't see it for the tree now. All right, stop. I love that. What do you call that where the things overlap up there? It's shingling. Is that what you called it? Shingles, yeah. It's not shingles, though, but it, it's, the, it's on the... Anyway, y'all see what I'm talking about. Shakes. Shakes. That's what it shakes. That's what, he's, that's what it is. I have to look at it and see if that's what it is. It is. You've told me before. I just forgot. That's beautiful. Not much to that one, but... Not much to that one, but, you know, that was a house. Somebody lived there at one time. It's in the middle of a field now that some animals live in. All right. So, I don't know where we're at now. <laughs> that's all right. Getting there. I think I think you need to go right. Nope. We're going to go this oh, we're going to go left. Gonna see okay. Why. Okay. Okay. Right here. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you know, most places have no trespassing signs in them. I don't know. I wouldn't go in anyhow. Anyway, look at that over there. You see what I'm looking at to the left? Right there. Ah, uh, was that the jail? <laughs> it's got all bars on it. I don't think it was, but there's the toilet. <laughs> oh, that is a toilet. I bet that was a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> you mean when, toilet, when when gas stations had toilets on each end? Oh yeah. Looks like they might have some events and get togethers over here. Yeah, this a... I think this whole little Bluffton has a lot to do with this white oak pastures and farm, you know? Yeah, it's a, probably a, a huge amount of family lives over here, possibly. Possibly? Possibly. It's, pro it's possible. It is possible. <laughs> So, yep, here we are. We're at the post office. That is the post office right over there. Bluffton, Georgia. And we're on another speed bump. Y'all, they got speed bumps, that's for sure. And I, I, this is not a disappearing south, but y'all, I love a little white house like that. It's got them shakes up there on it, too. 
There's another one coming up on the right, though. I don't know if it's lived in, but buddy. There's another cat, y'all. This is a cat-loving place. Oh, man, y'all. I... These cats just meander across the road because they know this is theirs. This is their place. That's the third cat we've seen meandering across. Part the road. motel or apartments? Uh, it looks like a duplex to me. Well, looks like it's abandoned. You didn't get it, did you? No, but it's kind of hard to do that. It's kind of hard to flip from side to side. Let's get out here and get this water tower. As soon as we can see the words. I just want to be able to see the words. I gotta say the words. Get me a clearing. Okay, slow down. There's me a good clearing. Alright, hang on. And Bluffton, Georgia, established 1850. This has been our adventure in Bluffton, Georgia. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We love y'all! Yeah. <laughs>